question that attracted dignitaries from all across the country. Now, the president, for yet another time, reiterated on the need for Kenyans to commit themselves in serving the country in a decorated celebration that saw Kenyans turn out in large numbers to mark the Independence Day. Now, Chris Sambu starts her coverage tonight with that report. The national celebration that was set at Nairobi's Nyayo National Stadium would prove yet another unifying factor for the country as Kenyans gathered together to mark one of the significant celebration, the Jamuri Day. <laughs> Leaders and senior government officials were yet again at the meeting end as each one of them graced the occasion. Deputy President William Ruto and former Prime Minister Raila Odinga led other leaders in marking the important day. <laughs> The Prime Minister of Barbados, Right Honorable Mia Amor Motley, graced the occasion as the chief guest while President Uru Kenyatta's arrival at the stadium marked the country's 56 years of independence. <laughs> while addressing the country, President Uru Kenyatta reiterated on the country's commitment in implementing the Kenyan economic blueprint in the Big Four agenda. Each of us, you and me, must make daily decisions purely driven by Kenya's wider and enduring interests. To return our river to course, we must live and breathe that mantra of Kenya, Kwanzaa, Leo, Keso, Namilele. Kenya emphasized on the country's realization of the 2030 vision in bettering the lives of Kenyans. In 2019, we are not asked to fight in the forest or to confront colonial powers we are called upon to obey the law, to discharge our civic duty, to conserve our environment, to care for our parents and our children, to refuse to be corrupt, to be mindful of our neighbors, to bring blessings to the less fortunate, to resist negative ethnicity, tribalism, and religious divides, and everything that undermines our unity and cohesion. And as was expected by many Kenyans who showed in large numbers, Kenyatta assured the country of its pledge to have affordable housing for Kenyans, saying the project would continue until the year 2022. We are a nation called upon to be great, to be a beacon of hope for others, to be on this earth the reflection of divine providence, favor, and protection, to secure and strengthen our democracy. Now is the time to recommit ourselves and put Kenya first. In his speech, Kenyatta termed the implementation of the housing fund levy as a mandatory contribution for both employees and employers, calling on Kenyans to soldier on the nobility of this program. Our education system has also witnessed a rapid expansion of tertiary education, both in terms of access as well as scope. And our universities, polytechnics, and vocational training institutions ensure that every Kenyan has an opportunity to further their knowledge and expertise, fueling livelihoods, and enabling passions and dreams to come true. The president noted the country's rapid growing economy in a jobless nation. The president expressed the country's desire to review tax structures. The 56th edition of Jamuri Day came at a time when the country is on limbing economy as Kenyans continue to decry unemployment. All eyes now will be set on the government as the year 2022 approaches. Chris Sambo, KUTV.